Good morning, Sunday, July something. I don't know, I don't remember the day. Let me look at my phone and see. July the 11th, Sunday. So, I did get that back together in the video I just watched. Um, putting the um, inline 60 amp fuse in there to run from, get my bag out of the way here. To run from down down there, I already put the mat back down. Runs up here, up here from the battery. It comes from the battery all the way up to here, and then into this fuse box. So um, now today we get to put everything back together. We took a part that we really didn't need to, which includes this. But we we really did do some testing down on the connectors to start track tracking back um, because it was a intermittent problem down there on the cable on the connector. <clears throat> so it was hard to troubleshoot. I got lucky when I found it actually um, I will admit that um, When I, I replaced the fuses still was having a problem like something's wrong. I just got a little bit angry I started pulling on wires and the blower came on and I was like ha, That makes it more easy now also by the way, I put um, recording this video on my GoPro still but I got the uh, GoPro uh, media mod for the Hero 8 Black on here. So I'm going to try that out. Hope maybe this sounds better. It's supposed to have a really, really good microphone built into it and everything. So we'll see how that goes. And um, <clears throat> if we're still having problems with the sound because sometimes I don't talk loud enough or the tractor's too loud because it's so hot and I'm having to run the air conditioner on high to try to stay cool, to try not to sweat to death in the tractor. Because uh, I really need to tent the windows. China, please send me my my dang uh, um, t window tent. We need it. But um, <clears throat> so we're going to try this out. I also have a wireless mic I got in. It's charging right now. It's a receiver module that fit that will sit on top of this, and then it plugs into the uh, microphone jack. Yeah, because a media mod gives you a microphone, external microphone jack, and then from there I have a little device I can wear or I can plug in another mic into that and then just run it up to somewhere like up here somewhere we'll see but hopefully this works we'll use the uh, wireless mic when we're doing mechanic work and stuff I think that'll be easy that way we can set a tripod up with the GoPro and we can still be talking explaining what we're doing and stuff it might make a lot more sense because I turn my head a lot away from the microphone because I'm trying to look at something trying to do something and uh, some of the microphones I had like I had the road uh, um, <clears throat> external mic on the uh, on the other case I have and it's a very fine-tuned directional I mean it'll pick up good if you're going directional straight direction as I say uh, but hopefully this one picks up really good so we're gonna try it out so here's what we gotta do <clears throat> too much talking by the way we gotta get all these screws back in put everything back together put the bolt back or nut back on here get this one put together right get this whole dash part put together and then we'll move back to doing this. I've done this several times. Um, I just want to get it done before I forget where everything goes again. <laughs> uh, I gotta remember. Oh yeah, this goes like this. So I just remember. See, see go. Uh, let's see here. I'll figure it out here in a minute. But uh, I know it goes right there, and it kind of slides and pops in. So we'll get that on there too.
we're probably looking at I don't think tomorrow we can cut hay. I think it's still going to be too wet. I mean, it's muddy out here. God, that was a lot of rain. But, uh, maybe we can get back to cut. Maybe we can cut Tuesday for sure, at the latest. So, we might be a little bit busy with the bees anyway tomorrow. Yeah, much more better, as Megan used to say. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it was nice, that one just popped right off. So what we do is we just take this, squeeze it down a little bit, get the other one on the other side, squeeze that down. y'all can't really see what I'm doing so when I resize these and push them down then what they do is they get well, they fit on here really good so you gotta pull them back up just enough to get them where you want them see how that one just popped right off see right there it just came it came right off right it's not holding nothing so Squeeze it close. Oh, went too far on that one. Darn it. Way too far. <laughs> That's not good. It's supposed to go from the back side, not the side. Squeeze it a little bit. Let's put this one back on there if we can go back on now. Oh, yeah. That's perfect now. So, see? Now it's good and tight. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. Missing one there. These are pretty good. Oh, thought I'd just tighten that one too. Maybe I didn't. Hey, I think I might have found another one. Yes, I did. Oh, 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 come out of there. Two for the price of one. Winning. Almost like getting a bucky soccer ball, but not as good. Yeah, I just uploaded that video today. That's what's on my mind. Okay, so that's all good. So, so that's good. We can tighten that one up a little bit too, I guess. I think this one goes down, down here. So, it's not a whole lot. We just want to, we want to tighten it from the back. Tighten it from the side. Get the other one. It'll smash the whole thing down. So we'll put this one down here. Okay. I think they're all pretty good now. Could have found one more from here. That would have been good. <laughs> Look at there. There was another one down there. Dang. That's like when you're going fishing. And you pull a fish out, you say, ah, it can't be another one down there. And then you pull another one, then another one. Now I know how the coyote fisherman, Mr. Wiley Coyote himself feels when he's out crappie fishing. And he starts pulling those fish out and they just keep coming. And I think that's all I got. I don't think there's any more. Because I don't think I have any more I need. <laughs> Ow. Piece of glass still from when the, uh, windshield got, the back window got shattered by a rock. Uh, last summer and that was not cheap well insurance but it's not cheap still anyway I think we're about ready to start putting stuff back together I need to take cut this oh I gotta fix this still so I took that splice off so I got some work to do over here uh maybe put you all right here 
<laughs> steering wheel cam. Awesome. Oh, by the way, these are some of the best uh, uh, electrical pliers and stuff I that I found in Milwaukee. Man, I love these things. I, mean, I use a lot of different brands. I mean, we've wired this whole place up, the house, the barn, and everything. We do a lot of electrical work here ourselves. We do all electrical work ourselves. But um, I bought this pair. Man, awesome. Uh, I'm a believer in their tools. They, I mean, it's heavy duty. Feels right. I've cut stuff with it. I don't have no nicks in my uh, cutter. Still perfect. Everything works good. Awesome. Highly recommend it. I know I'm not getting paid by them. I don't get paid by anybody yet because I don't got no subscribers hardly. But maybe one of these days. Yeah, make sure that's hooked up. You look through here. I think this one goes right here. <laughs> okay, so all this stuff's going to go back in here. Water drain, condensation drain, condensation drain for the uh, air conditioning. Oh, I gotta fix it. I forgot. Dang it. Did I just do what I think I did? Yes, I did. Y'all you know, supposed to warn me about stuff like this, you know? I think I just did that. I gotta pull this back off now. Where's that down here? Nope. Maybe that's it. I don't have to. Phew, there it is right there. That's what I need to fix. This was a heat shrink. I cut it open. I thought maybe the splice there was bad. I was troubleshooting this thing. That was not the issue. Um, so, where did I put the electrical tape at? I need to go find electrical tape. And the battery's getting low here, but we'll be right back. Oh, somebody shoot the rooster. That guy wakes me up at 3 o'clock in the morning sometimes. He doesn't understand the concept of sun and morning. Anyway. And he ate all my plums from my plum tree. He will not be around next year, I can tell you that. It will be long gone by then. Ooh, this tape's hot. It's sitting out there in that heat in the truck. So, start this like this. No, I'm afraid it go any other way. Try to keep that the heat short. Heat shrink on there. We're trying to close it back up. So, all we're trying to do is close the heat shrink back up. Because I cut it with a knife. So you know, I need to check that. I probably could go and buy. Here's those heat shrink sleeves you can put on. And a connected cable. I've got time for that today. Exposed because it will short to the end. We could have a fire. That would not be good. Even though I have insurance on my tractor, but that's still. Don't want to do anything to cause it yourself. Still a pain in the butt. And, and with the insurance companies, it's always a pain in the butt. Pay nothing on my checkup exam. <laughs> like really? I don't know what their excuse is going to be? <laughs> They'll probably be like, "You didn't come to the overlords first and ask for permission to go." Like, I was in pain. The whole jaw was swollen up. It was. It was like this big. It was out here. I was like. Ask for permission and wait 
10 days or so for y'all to tell me something about it and I might be dead from infection. Sept sepsis sets in, right? You know, so take antibiotics fast enough. So anyway, <clears throat> have to make that call to them. Okay, so this is my lights. I guess we're ready to start fighting the panel in here. <coughs> Anybody saying these things? Very expensive. Um, I forgot how much they wanted for them. It was like 1200 bucks. I was going to put a third one in. And uh, one dealer over here said they couldn't even get the third spool device, any module anymore. Of course, the dealer I talked to this last week says, yeah, they're in stock. If you want a third one, it says, no, I don't want one now. Because well, I don't think the hydraulics on this thing are strong enough to support three. Well, you can't you can't do float. I'm gonna say very good because open center hydraulics. So I, mean, I don't really need three now because of that. I would like to have three, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna deal with two and just get me another tractor. Get me a uh, John Deere case, like I said, I've been talking about. And I get one of those that's got three or four remotes on it, and uh, at least three. And uh, that way I can run different implements and stuff. <coughs> and those are closed center with a uh, high uh, gallons per minute output. This right here is actually decent for its size, but it's an open center hydraulic system. And I might, if y'all are interested, somebody comments on it. Says they want to know what the difference is. I got a video I can link you to, YouTube video, that gives you an awesome explanation. And it doesn't say pros or cons about it. I think it just walks you through them and. As soon as you start thinking about an agriculture sense, about what you need, what you're trying to do, you realize a closed center hydraulic system is so much better than the open center. Didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know this thing was open center. I didn't read the technical specifications close enough because I would have caught it at that point if I would have read it. I think I was still... Uh, Overwhelmed by the price difference between this and a new John Deere. That's 20 grand or so. Uh, now you look back at it, you're like, hmm, maybe I should went and looked at a Case IH or a Massey. I think I saw Massey's. Massey dealer down here is selling them very affordable. But they weren't a dealer at the time either, though. So if they would have been a dealer at the time, then here, of course, can I? I probably would have bought the Massey after looking at the price in and all the features in like that quick steer deal. Uh, when you're doing loader work, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, cab suspension on 100 horsepower and up, I think. So you're not being bounced all over the place. The thing is smooth. And uh, makes me reminisce about wanting to go buy one. <laughs> huh. That's possible. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no. My wife's going to kill me. Anyway. All right. Well, <clears throat> time to start struggling. We're going to try to put the big panel in. Hey, Dad, take the rake out. Yay. Put that on the other side of this. For now. Us in a way, let's see what it is. It's down there now. Oh, this is going pretty good. But now it's all going to be down here. Okay, so 
then we have to go out, come in from the other side, get that mat, get everything. So. So now our issue, by getting this guy on, is right here for the mat. The thing I pushed down earlier. Great. Voila, piece of cake. Speaking of cake, there's some in the refrigerator. Speaking of that. Oh yeah. Okay, we're still running good. So down here, <laughs> I got, right there you can see, maybe. There's that tape job I did on that, put a lot of tape on that inline. I didn't tape the other one up yet, because I'm gonna actually get another inline and I'm gonna try to mount those, make a bracket or mount them up there somewhere. That way they're out of the way. All right. <clears throat> now we get to put stuff together. How much battery we got left? Nope, that ain't much. We've been recording for. 58 minutes. Oh, I got it on 1080 now. That's right. 58 minutes of recording. Oh my God, I got a lot of editing to do on that one. That's right. I changed from 4K to 1080p recording. I don't know why I was recording 4K for uh, YouTube videos. Maybe for other videos, 4K works. But YouTube, man, sure was causing a lot of issues. <laughs> that was probably chewing up a lot of RAM too. Well, I did. I, actually, the ones I've been rendering 4K, so be interested to see what happens when I go down to these that are in a 1080p resolution and how much time it saves me. Still got a little bit of battery. That's the other thing is the battery's less than a lot longer. Dr. Pepper. It's gonna explode on me. So let's take it slow. I don't need Dr. Pepper spray and Beautiful sound, Dr. Pepper. Be even better if it was Dublin Dr. Pepper, which you can't get no more. You can get pure cane sugar ones, which are similar to the Dublin, but not the same. I'm talking about Dublin, Texas Dr. Pepper. <sighs> Take a break. We're in the shade. I could actually fire up the air conditioner if I wanted to. So I gotta make sure I get my Dorado handle on first because well, it won't come through later. Well, this still has got to push down some. It's well, down pretty good actually. Oh, this is good. Oh, this has got that deal that goes around there. That's what it looks good. Toyota movie, by the way. Right? Yeah. Okay, come on. There we go. We're good to go now. So 
we get this all screwed down, then we put this panel on. Gotta fish all this out. So, another issue right here, right? See how thin those wires are? That's some thin wire um, for power outlets. So I think this winter, when I'm thinking about redoing this wire, it runs all the way up here with the 8 gauge. I'm going to probably change these out too. Well, appreciate y'all watching our videos. Uh, really do. And uh, the only thing I have to say is and thank you for watching. Subscribe. Like the videos. You know what to do, right? It's YouTube. We've been, we're pretty accustomed to that nowadays. So uh, God bless. Catch you on the next video. Thank you.